welcome to this video which is a request of Valia Rizwan and uh, let's start question 10 part C the, the the whole question was about the dice of a board game I'm sure you must be aware of the dice which has one to six numbers in, in a dice from one to six and they are playing with two dices okay so let's read to win the game he must move exactly to the hundred space we all know if you are at hundred you will win the game can win is on the 97th space so he's he is right here at the moment okay if his next row takes him to 99 he has to move back to 96 so if I reach here I will go automatically to 96 if his next row takes him over 100 he stays on 97 so if I get a 4 for example I should have been here so I cannot move more than 100 I will stay at 97 so if I get more than 3 because for 3 I will be here so more than 3 I will not move anywhere I will just stay on 97 so this is what the two rules says here of the game so we have to find the probability that he reaches 100 in either of his next two throws one of the most important Thing in this question was to understand the question properly otherwise it was not easy to solve unless you really understand what they are looking for and what they want from us so in either of his next two throws so either in one throw I want to win the game or in two throws I want to win the game okay so let's start with the one throw the easier one okay so the easier way is I am on 97 and I get a 3 and I win the game so that's the first chance to get a 3 in 2 dice is what are the possible pairs is 1 and 2 and 2 and 1 this is the two possible pairs isn't it so my answer and and to get a 1 out of the whole 6 and then again 2 is also once out of the whole 6 right and then I will add this with this one which is getting a 2 out of the 6 is 2 is just once and again getting 1 out of the 6 1 is just once on the dice so this is what I will get to find the probability so I will end up by getting 2 over 36 so to get the 3 on the dice this is my probability okay so if I want to win on the first chance now but this said in either of the next his next two throws so we can go up to two throws okay so let me think what would be the possibility of the two throws okay so if I let's and this is that that's why they give us these two routes to for the two throws okay so let me start with the one if I get more than four I will stay on 97 that's my first row and on the second throw because I'm still on 97 I'll get a three for the three we have already found the probability so here we just need to find the probability of getting more than three so getting four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so instead of finding all the four five six seven eight nine ten and twelve why don't I find the probability of just one two and three and deduct it from one Deducting it from one means the all the possibilities of not having the three. Okay, so it will be the possibilities of having the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So to get obviously the from four to twelve, it will be a long route. So I will just say the probability of having just from one to three. So I will subtract one minus the probability of one to three. So the probability of one is zero. Because from the two dice we can never get one the probability of having a two is just once because we the only combination is one and one to get a two and then the probability to get a three is sorry to get yeah to get a three we already found which was this one so the probability of this one and the probability of this one the total will be three over 36 so this is the probability of not having two three having in other words it this is the probability of having 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 which, which is what we are looking for because if we have more than 3 then we are still on 97 then we have our next throw and then we will win on the next throw because we have only two throws for the most maximum two throws so for this one then so in the next throw we will have our 3 to win and sorry it's it will be 2 we already found in the previous part 
to get a 3. It's just 2 over 36. Okay. This is my complete throws. The first throw more than 3. The second throw exactly 3. I win the game. The third possibility to win the game is in the first throw, I get on to 99. Obviously, in the first row, I can never get on 98 because I have two dices. So, in the first row, I get to 99. So, I have a 2. The only possibility of having a 2 is 1 and 1, isn't it? So, my first throw will give me 1 and 1 is only 1s over 36. The probability of 1 and 1 is 1 over 36. Again, the same way I calculated this one, I'll get this one here. Okay? It will be 1 times 6 over 1 times 6, which will be 1 over 36, okay? So because 1 is just 1's on the 6, and again 1 is just 1's on the whole 6 numbers, okay? So my first row will give me 1, oh sorry, my first row will give me 2, 1 and 1, 2, and then my next row should give me, because I got 2 here, I went back to 96. Now I want to win the game on the next throw, on the second throw. So I will get 1, 2, 3, 4. I need 4. So what is the probability of having a 4? So let's see the possible ways I can get a 4 is by a combination of 1 and 3. The other combination is 3 and 1. The other combination is 2 and 2. So again, I have three combinations, isn't it? So again, I will when I will just add the three combinations, it will again be 3 over 36, okay? And when you solve all this in your calculator, you should end up getting 1, 4, 1 over 1, 2, 9, 6. Now for those of you who have solved till here, and you are still not able to get this just make sure you are using your calculator properly there is actually one mark to get to this if you have solved till here you will get four marks so why not get just one mark by just solving it properly in your calculator you can just uh, split it up or to solve it but it's uh, it's not a good thing just to lose mark because you didn't use your calculator properly okay so this will be your final answer and some you might not be you might not you get exactly because I didn't solve part A and B but if you solve part A and B this will become a bit more easier to understand how I directly get this 3 over 36 it's just because every number is just once and if the second number is again once all the numbers are once so the, the more numbers I have the more it gets here okay hope you understand thank you for watching